Well, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to a new video guys. I've been getting a lot of questions on if you should get a 335 for your first car. So I just wanted to talk about that real quick. So I'm just gonna go ahead and talk about some of the reasons why you should and why you shouldn't. Ultimately, you guys will find out what I think uh, at the end of the video, so make sure to stay tuned for that, guys. So there are some pros and cons. A pro is that you get to drive a sick car uh, with decent speed, but at the same time, you're driving a car with decent speed. If it's your first car, um, you might not be the most experienced driver, so sometimes it can be too much speed. So there's definitely those types of pros and cons. So yeah, it's a a great all-around car uh, the f 3335 with the n55 it's pretty reliable considering that it's a 335 with turbos I haven't had too many problems with mine and mine's at like 113,000 miles now I drive it a lot I've put a lot of miles on it already and so if you're looking for like reliability I would say it's all right it's not amazing but it's not bad at the same time you definitely have to keep up on maintenance so it can be kind of pricey so if it's your first car and you don't have the best job the maintenance can be kind of pricey that BMW parts tend to be more expensive than other cars so there's that to look out for. Another big concern is the gas consumption. So I actually get about 20 miles per gallon in my car and mine's a stage two. It's actually pretty decent, but I also drive a lot on the freeway and the highway. My MPG goes up a lot um, compared to some of the city drivers over here. So that's definitely something to consider. It's expensive on gas because you have to use premium gas. Considering all those things, it can be kind of pricey. So I would say it's not good for a first car for those terms. The good thing though is that it's really fun it would be an extremely fun first car to own and drive around this thing is fun to drive guys the 335s are super fun because they are quick it also has a ton of tuning capability and modifications that you can put onto the car so it makes it a fun first car for those because there's plenty of stuff to do for it plenty of mods to go around but at the same time you also got to consider that's pretty expensive it's definitely an expensive first car if you're looking to get a 335 for your first car Now guys, the question really comes down to what are you looking for in a first car? Are you looking for something more reliable, better gas mileage? Uh, it, it really just depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for those things, this is probably not the right first car for you. You should probably look more into some more reliable cars. Unfortunately, it probably wouldn't be a BMW. I will be making a reliable BMW that you should get. I'll make a video on that real soon. So if you guys are interested on what I think is the best first BMW to own, I will make a video on that shortly so stay on the lookout for that guys if you're looking for something reliable good on gas cheap on maintenance then the 335 probably is not for you but if you're looking for something fun that you will enjoy driving um, get a great experience as a first car then the 335 is definitely a perfect first car for you so in conclusion do I suggest getting the 335 as your first car honestly I would say don't do it because the cons outweigh the pros in this case uh, it is really expensive and you never know some problems could arise that you just can't handle and you'd have to pay a lot of money to get fixed if you don't know how to do it so you definitely need to know how to work on cars if you want to have a 335 of your own especially for a first car so honestly I would stay away from the 335 uh, for your first car what I would suggest doing is get a nice reliable car uh, save up a decent amount of money so that when you are ready to buy a nice fun car you can buy the 335 definitely save that money and uh, invest it in the future on a car purchase later down the road uh, I think it's just gonna be too much of a headache to get a 335 for your first car definitely save up get something reliable and then work your way up to the 335 that is what I think about owning a 335 as your first car I would stay away from it let me know why you guys would pick a 335 for your first car what are some reasons why you would pick the 335 for your first car something that I might not have mentioned maybe you guys thought of something else compared to what I thought of so yeah guys if you enjoyed the video make sure to give it a like down below make sure to subscribe as well guys make sure to check me out on instagram i will throw up my instagram down below but without further ado remember stay safe stay happy and stay in that project car i will catch you guys later